So the bookworm started literally in our first conversation. I said to Jeffrey and Tommy, I feel like we should make some form of uh, sculpture or some kind of way to eventize going to this space and like, let's make it out of books. It's so obvious. Um, I said, I have no idea what this means, but let's make a thing that twists and winds around the room and up and down and around the stacks. And Tommy said, if we're gonna do that, we should make a real decisive kind of story moment about it. And what would happen if we made it a timeline of theater history? So it's a timeline of theater history. It's about um, 2,500 books, 140 feet long. Uh, it weighs 3,500 pounds and um, you know, it spans over 2,500 years of theater history, starting way back as it breaks through the wall, you know, with the ancient Greek, and it ends up right over here, dies into this platform behind me, um, you know, in 2020, where we stopped. Uh, and um, it's built and engineered by Hudson Scenic, the same scene shop that builds Hamilton, so we know a guy. And builds Broadway, right? <laughs> yeah. And builds Broadway. Yeah. And they, um, you know, they, it, it's one of these things like in a meeting with Tommy and Jeffrey and Lynn, you kind of put something on paper and say, well, that'll be really cool. Like, let's see if we can pull it off. And here we are. And Tommy said to me this morning, geez, it's way better than we thought it would turn out. <laughs>